look at a different example with cones. Make sure you write this information down in your notes. So I have two cones where I doubled the length, I doubled the, the base radius and the slant height. Okay. So when I do that, and I do that to both of them, they are proportional. So now, let's find the lateral areas of each of these. To find the lateral area, you it on the screen here, pi RL. So for the first one, it's pi to the radius to the slant, which is 8 pi, and this is area where you use. Okay. For the large same thing. So, how do we find volume? We have one third pi r squared h, but h means actual height. So we put that. But we do know things about actual height. If I drop eight, got use Pythagorean theorem to find the height. So Sorry, x squared plus 2 squared, which is 4, don't want to jump ahead, equals 4 squared. So that's x squared plus 4 equals 16. I subtract 4 over, and I get x squared equals 12. And then I have to take the square root, which gives me x is 2 root 3. For the other one, I'll call this y, so it's a different variable. It's y squared plus 3 squared equals 6 squared. So that's y squared plus 9 equals 36. Subtract 9, and you get y squared equals 27. And whenever you take the square root, you get y equals 3 root 3, which if you look at our ratios, the 2 to 3, 4 to 6, 2 root 3 to 3 root 3, all are proportional. Okay, so let's apply our height. Whenever we do that, it's 1 third pi r squared, which is 2 squared, times 2 root 3. So that's going to give us 8 root 3 over 3 pi, and our units are cubic units. Okay, now for our volume, for the large, I'm going to bring this down just a little bit, just so that you can see things better. Okay, it's one-third pi r squared, so three squared, times the actual height. We can do some canceling leaving us with a volume of 9 root 3 pi cubic units. Okay, so great, we found the volumes and the areas. How do they compare? It's not quite as obvious, but let's take a closer look. Let's take a look at the lengths of the, the ratios of the lengths of the area lengths, areas, and volumes. So we know the ratio of the lengths is two-thirds. Okay? To find the ratio of the areas, you do 8 pi to 18 pi, which reduces to 4 ninths. For volume, you do 8 root 3 pi over 3 divided by 9 root 3 pi. Oh no, it's a fraction over a fraction. What do we do? It's okay. What do we do when we divide by fractions? We multiply by the reciprocal. So some scratch work here would say 8 root 3 pi over 3 
times the reciprocal of 9 root 3 pi, which is 1 over 9 root 3 pi. And what's nice is that we have some canceling going on here. Root 3 cancels, pi cancels. And you multiply across, you get 8 over 27. Now look carefully at these ratios. Do you notice a pattern? Well, if it's similar to what we had before, 4 ninths is 2 thirds times 2 thirds. And then it looks like you multiply 2 thirds by 4 ninths, so it's as if you're saying 2 thirds times 2 thirds times 2 thirds. Seems like the same relationship is occurring as we saw in the previous video. Let's take a closer look. For any two similar solids, it could be a spheres, cylinders, cones, whatever. You don't even have to know the formula. The ratio of the lengths, areas, and volumes are the same. The ratio of the area is whatever the ratio of the length is squared. And the ratio of the volume is whatever the ratio of the lengths is cubed. And I can't emphasize this enough, it always goes back to the ratio of the lengths. You have, that is your base, that is your foundation. So if you look, the two-thirds from the cones, if we square it, we get four ninths, which is the ratio of the areas that we found. And if we cube the ratio of the lengths, then we get eight twenty-sevenths, which is the ratio of the volumes that we found. Now let's take a look at a couple of scenarios. How do we work with this? What is useful about this knowledge? Okay, let's say we have two similar solids and the ratio of their areas is something like 25 to, let's say, 81. Okay, how can I find the ratio of the volumes of these two solids? Well, the thing is, and I can't emphasize this enough, you have to know the ratio of the links so that you then cube it to get the volume. Well, how do I find that? I know that the ratio of the area is the ratio of the length squared, so that means I take a square root. So the square root of 25 is 5, square root of 81 is 9. So now I know that the ratio of the lengths is 5 ninths. So I can now take that ratio and cube it, which will give me the following. 125 over 729. Okay, now what if I gave you the ratio of the volumes instead? So let's say we have some ratio where it was let's say um, 27 to 64. How can we find the ratio of the area? Okay, so we know that R cubed is the ratio of the volumes and we always have to go back to lengths. Yep, always gotta go back to lengths. But it's cubed. How do we get to the root of a cube? Well, it's exactly that. It is called a cube root. What that looks like, looks like a square root, but you have a little three. A square root, you take the root of a perfect square. Cube root, you take the root of a perfect cubed. Now, some of y'all may see that the cube root of 27 over 64 is three-fourths, but this may be new to most of y'all. Fortunately, we have a calculator function for that. So let's take out our calculators. If you go to the math button, scroll down to number four, you'll see the cube root function. Press enter, and then type in the fraction, 27 divided by 64. And you get a decimal, but remember, you can do math frac to change it into a fraction. And there you go, you see the fraction 3 fourths. So if you have 3 fourths as the ratio of the lengths, how do you find the ratio of the area? You just square it. 
and you get 9 sixteenths. And there you have it. You can go back and forth to find the ratio of the lengths, areas, and volumes of any similar solid without even having to use a formula because as long as you know that they're similar, that means that all the corresponding lengths are proportional. This applies every single time. Now, the question is, how do we actually use it? That is going to be part three in similar solids application.